Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I have another episode of SV Spotlight. SV Spotlight is a series where I give a shout out, a source spotlight to a creator that I believe is underrated. Um, so I usually do just one creator per month. I try to do the best I can uh, with 55,000 subscribers to get them as much exposure as they can. Obviously not everyone who's watching will like their content, but I just want to put their content out there just so they have a chance. So it's pretty simple to enter for your chance to be on this series. All you have to do is go to the video you're most proud of and put the hashtag SV Spotlight in the title so that when I search up hashtag SV Spotlight, I will see your video. It's pretty simple. So this month we have a technology channel called Zanero Tech. There's only so little that I could choose from. Um, there were only like 15 entries this month which is kind of sad to be honest. There was a lot more in previous months. So if you guys can enter, that'd be great. But with that being said, the winner of this month's spotlight is Zanero Tech. So there's a couple things I like about his channel and there's some things that I think he can improve on, but let me just start with the things that he's good at. So he sticks to one sort of content, his niche. So in this case, he does technology. He doesn't switch it up to gaming. I see a lot of people who, uh, especially when you're smaller, you want to stick to a niche. Um, they upload everything and they can't really get known for just one particular thing uh, that way. Uh, but Zanero is just uploading strictly technology videos. So that's good that he's sticking to something. He also uploads pretty frequently. He just started a month ago, but he has a good amount of videos out already. So that's good. Also, he keeps his channel very clean. It has a consistent theme to it. So in his videos, they're very clean. Um, although he doesn't have a good camera, it still is you know, a pretty good shot that he does. Um, same with audio. Audio sounds pretty good. I, I'm guessing he uses his phone for audio, which is impressive if he, if he does do so. Uh, you don't always have to have the best equipment to make the best videos. He probably uses uh, limited budget. He probably has limited equipment, but it looks like he's doing pretty well. Also, his videos are properly titled and descriptive. And also the thumbnails pretty clean as well. So one thing I have to say about the title, a lot of people don't know how to title their videos. And I'm not just saying that on like a SEO side of things, like search engine optimization, if you guys know how to do that, like ranking in a search, I'm talking just basic capitalization and punctuation. Like some people will add like three exclamation marks for no reason or capitalize um, like words in the wrong, like, it, like it, it, sometimes people don't know how to write a good title. Um, like, like, do you guys go to school? Like, you know how you write, like name an essay or an article? That's the same way you should name a video. Like some people don't have one capitalized letter in the entire set, like video title, which is like, why? Like, do you know how to like write? Like, I think my titles look pretty cool. They're pretty neat. Like, it sounds pretty weird, like pretty strange how I'm like, uh, like the title's clean or, or simple. Like you can tell, like a good example of a, a channel that has well-titled videos is Justin Escalona with play the game films. Uh, he capitalizes letters. He knows when to not capitalize letters at all. Like he knows how to title his videos. So in terms of branding, it looks pretty good. It's pretty clean. The only thing I would say is you should probably remove the extra H at the end of Zanero Tech. There's two H's some reason. That does not seem professional at all. Um, I would even take the tech part out as well. Um, Zanero sounds a lot better and it's shorter. People will remember. And Zanero Tech with two H's is like, that, that's kind of off that part. You can keep the tech part, but like just remove the H. If we dive into his videos, uh, one thing I do notice is that your audio is good, but sometimes the music is a little bit louder than you speaking. And also in the beginning, you should look into doing a roll. So like, like videos like, like this, like where you're talking to the camera, if you can do that, at least put audio in the beginning of the videos like of you talking, because I see a lot of your videos, it just has music playing and then maybe 15, 20 seconds later, then you start talking, which is pretty bad unless you have like a really quick montage, but you don't do that. Um, also talking about your videos, you don't have a lot of movement in your, uh, like your shots, like you don't have tilting or panning or, or a dolly or anything like that. Your videos are very still. So it's basically like putting an image onto a video. That's how I would describe your, your shots. Um, you're not really moving or anything like even a simple movement like going back and forth, right? Your your shots are like this. It's just like you holding this Or it's on like a table or something you have to have movement or else like why not just put a photo of it like just, like have some movement in your videos. It looks a lot better that way. Also, one thing about your banner and your avatar, 
it's leaning toward the gaming type of like style, right? Your your isn't really clean. It doesn't really match your thumbnails and your your titles and stuff like that. Um, the reason I changed and revamped my channel is because I didn't believe that my thumbnails in my banner in my avatar really matched my type of content. So now it's a lot more clean instead of abstracty. Abstract sort of like style comes from like I, I guess the gaming community. Like people like to make it very colorful and stuff. So if you go into like your channel, you can see. Your whole fleet focuses. You can see that his is kind of like you can see what I mean. It's like very abstracty. Um, so I, I, I'd say improve that as well. But like titling your videos, your thumbnails are good. Your audio is very good. Uh, yeah, you're doing good with what you have, obviously. Other than that, I think you should be on social media more. Um, a lot of tech influencers and technology channels are on Twitter and they communicate. Like I, I'm in that community. I've seen people do that, and it goes like very well for them. Uh, I checked your Twitter link in your description and it didn't work, so you should change that. Or if you don't have a Twitter account, uh, you should get on Twitter. It's a great way to grow. I explained that in my like video on communities. Um, it's very important. And to any content creator out there, as good as your work is, if people don't see it, there's really no value to it, you know? So try distributing it on Twitter but also try interacting in your community. Like don't just use social media as a way to advertise, but rather connect with other people. People will come across your videos anyways. You don't have to tell them. Like if if you're helping them enough, like answering their questions on Twitter or just talking to them like nicely, they're gonna check out your work. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna enter, rules are in the description and check out Zanero's channel, it's pretty good. Uh, if he's only been on YouTube for around one, two, one to two months, um, he's doing pretty good. Uh, leave him some feedback. That's the whole point of the series. Uh, yeah, so my name's Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.